administration plans to aggressively push for tougher screening of asylum seekers, making it vastly more difficult for migrants fleeing persecution in their home countries from winning protection in the United States. According to that official, President Trump ordered the recent shakeup of his top immigration officials because they were moving too slowly or even obstructing the president's desire to confront the surge of migrants at the southern border. The official telling The Times the asylum changes are among many policies the president wants to put into effect with team in place. Denials for asylum seekers have already been on the rise. As the Washington Post notes, that may be in part because former Attorney General Jeff Sessions said victims of domestic violence and gang attacks generally would not qualify for asylum, an issue that's being litigated in federal courts. While speaking to reporters yesterday, President Trump denied that the changes would include restarting the family separation policy, but he argued that that had been effective. Obama separated the children, by the way. Would you consider doing it again? Just so you understand, President Obama separated the children. Those cages that were shown, I think they were very inappropriate. They were built by President Obama's administration, not by Trump. President Obama had child separation. Take a look. The press knows it. You know it. We all know it. I didn't have, I'm the one that stopped it. President Obama had child separation. Now, I'll tell you something. Once you don't have it, that's why you see many more people coming. They're coming like it's a picnic, because let's go to Disneyland. You're not going to bring it back? We're not looking to do that, no. So, Jonathan, that, first of all, that's flatly untrue. Right. That President Obama, the Obama administration, did not begin the family separation policy. Some of those photographs of families in cages and those fences were from the, the Obama years, but they didn't have the family separation policy explicitly the way President Trump did. Um, what is going on in the White House right now? There was the Wall Street Journal quote a couple of days ago where President Trump turns to Stephen Miller and says, you're in charge now of immigration. Miller's influence here is really on the rise. There's no question there. I mean, he all along has sort of been in a, in a mind meld with the president uh, in terms of immigration policy. He helped shape it during the campaign. He came over from formerly working with then Senator Jeff Sessions. You know, he's been the architect of a lot of what the president has want to accomplish. And the president is frustrated that not as much as he wants has gotten done, that he feels that he sees the numbers of crime need to go up. He, you know, the, he pushed for he was the family separations policy, something he believed was effective. And when one of the reasons why Secretary Nielsen is is now about to be former Secretary Nielsen is because she argued with him that the law was not on their side for some of these. They could not necessarily separate the families. They could not close the borders. There'd be an economic impact there as well. And he grew, has grown frustrated. He's been goaded on behind the scenes by Stephen Miller. And it's they decided it's time to make a change. Now they have said. Family separations. The officials we talked to yesterday say that that is not necessarily coming back to a policy, but a modified version thereof could still be in play mm -hmm. in the weeks ahead. They could return to that. And certainly, as the asylum seekers is something you want to change. Currently, about three quarters mm -hmm. of people who seek asylum are granted in the United States, and they want to bring that number down dramatically by making it much tougher to qualify to be able to prove that you need to seek safety in the United States because conditions in your home country are so dangerous. You know, it's already a convoluted <laughs> enough issue. Immigration is so difficult, and um, obviously, these policies have been um, devastating to, to families and to people who believe in what this country is about. Um, but in that uh, press availability with reporters, the president in the course of a minute blamed untruthfully yeah. Obama for the separations and for the cages. He lied to the American people. Then he said the separations work. Then he said he was the one who ended it so he could take credit for ending something that is terrible. But then he went back to saying that they actually work. It was his administration, John Kelly, Kirsten Nielsen, Jeff Sessions. They threatened people saying your children will be taken away from you if you come to this country. This is Trump's policy that was executed by Trump's people. There is no question about that. If he wants to lie again about Barack Obama, he can do that. But he is lying again to the American people. And it is stunning every time it happens. No way this is going to get easier to see happening in the White House. Having said that, Joyce Vance, there's also a lot of legal challenges to the children that were already separated from their families. And looking at the policies ahead, I think legally this could be a nightmare as well. And, by the way, it's a policy that's bringing more people toward the border. 
It's absolutely terrible policy. A lot of bad factors combined to increase immigration. The president just thinks that by threatening to take kids away from their parents, he can shut it down. But we know that there are a lot of factors, including conditions in home countries, that influence this influx of immigration. And the administration, the president is right about one thing. That's that he can't seem to win an immigration battle in the courts these days. And that's because he's lined up squarely against the law. It is, I think, uh, horrific to contemplate where we will be going forward. He has fired a DHS secretary essentially because she told him he would not violate the law. She was willing to do everything else. She was willing to Im uh, implement border separation between parents and kids. She was willing to go the whole nine yards with them, just not to violate the law. By firing her, he now signifies that he's looking for a new set of leaders at DHS, ones who will be willing to Im uh, implement his ongoing vision which involves conflict with the law. The president believes he does not have to comply here. And Michael Steele, you could hear just in those remarks that the president made yesterday, his affinity for the family separation program. He said, right. well, it works, it works. Right. And it started under Obama. It didn't start under President Obama. It was a pilot program in the Trump administration two years ago. And then a year ago, about this time, became policy. And Jeff Sessions said explicitly that it's being used as a deterrent to keep people from coming to the border. Yeah, the, the whipsaw and back and forth, uh, as Mika appropriately pointed out, was just mind-numbingly uh, amazing to, to listen to in the course of that minute. But the president will always tell you what he wants and what he really believes. And in that minute, he did. He told us that he likes this family separation policy. He does not like the fact that he has judges telling him what he can't do and a, a Homeland Security secretary who was telling him what he can't do. He wants people around him who will execute his orders. It's that simple. This is not overly complicated, folks. Mm -hmm. He wants people around him who will execute his orders. He doesn't care if they're acting. He doesn't care if they're permanent as long as they do the job. And he continues to hit this drum for a simple reason. With all the other stuff roiling, as we started this morning's conversation uh, with, uh, with uh, Barr and others, all that narrative still out there, this is the perfect, again, distraction from that. Uh, and he will continue to beat this drum for as long as he's capable of doing it. But he wants people to help him beat that drum. And when Kirsten stopped.